So, have you heard of this Ariana Grande person? Cause I sure have. Apparently the pop gods decided that this was going to be the year of Ariana because she has like what, five different songs in circulation right now? No amount of Ariana is too much Ariana apparently. Which last year I would have welcomed extremely. Because that year, if you recall, was the year of Miley. Yeah, and also Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato, all of whom have a bad case of Disney voice. But when I first heard Ariana Grande, I was like, holy crap, a teen actress who can actually sing. And made music that actually sounded like it deserved to be on the radio and wasn't just coasting on her prepackaged TV fan base. I was hooked instantly, even though I only ever heard one single of hers. But still, I really liked it. Because, you know, there's nothing interesting about Demi Lovato. You could replace Demi Lovato singing with anyone who could care. But Ariana actually had pipes and potential, so much so that I was actually inspired to watch a little of the show she was on at the time. She's still all mad because Tori got the lead in Steamboat Susie. That was probably a mistake. I will say this, it was better than the episodes I've sampled of terrible Disney shows because the actresses on Victorious were older and much too talented and too mature to be there. I was actually kind of embarrassed for them. I'm not including Ariana in that. I only watched a couple episodes and she only had like three lines. And as far as I can tell, this is how I'd sum up her character. Imagine if Ralph Wiggum were hot. Uh, now I can hear a bunch of you saying, okay, gross, dude, she was like 14 or whatever. Okay, calm down, don't worry, it's a joke. I don't actually find her that attractive. Okay, now I got a bunch of other people jumping down my throat and saying, look at you, some internet loser jack off talking about how some female celebrity isn't hot enough for me. She, lo she looks fine, okay? She looks, she looks great. She is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And she's actually 21 years old, so it's not weird for me to say. It's just, you know, she's, she's just got this kind of... Hey, weren't we talking about music? Let's go back to that. Anyway, like I said, I immediately liked her as a singer, but suffice to say, my enthusiasm for her career has dimmed a lot. I mean, Problem was everywhere this year, and it was fine enough, I guess. Good hook. Iggy Azalea verse that actually wasn't terrible at all. Nice, scronking sax beat. And yet, I couldn't ever really get into it. And considering that Ariana Grande's main asset is her vocal skills, I think the biggest problem was her singing. No doubt she's had a lot of training, but uh, going a few more rounds with Simon Cowell might have proved things a lot because, I don't know, just, just something about the tone of her voice, like she, she's trying to force her lungs through her nose. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's still got a bit of the teen starlet on her. I, I get the feeling she's not really ready for the major leagues yet. And another thing, it's not just the tone of her voice, it's, it's also the way she slurs all her lyrics. It's like she has a seafood allergy that made her tongue swell up. And just, like, listen to her. Like, she can hit high notes like Mariah Carey, but she pronounces words like Elmer Fudd. This is the part where I break free. The part when I break free. Uh, and there's other problems too, and no song better illustrates them than her current biggest single, Bang Bang. Let's take a listen. Uh, Ariana Grande got a lot taller and older all of a sudden, and dark hair. Who the hell is this? Oh, it's Jesse. Jay. Well, I see Iggy Azalea isn't the only one riding Miss Grande's coattails. Or Zed, or Big Sean, The Weeknd, Mac Miller, Mika, the guy from The One. Holy Christ, when did pop music turn into Six Degrees of Ariana Grande? Anyway, Jesse J. I guess this is a Jesse J song. And a Nicki Minaj song. To Christ, anyone else want to get in on it? Too many cooks, too many cooks, too many cooks, too many cooks. Now that joke is definitely going to still be funny a week from now. Well, you should already know who Nicki is, but I'm not sure all of you know who Jessie J is. I've never really discussed her in depth. You got me losing my mind. Well, first off, she's British, and she's the poor man's Katy Perry, and... And that's about it! Didn't really have a whole lot of Jesse J material prepared. Because who the hell cares about Jesse J? The problem with Jesse J is she doesn't really have any real personality. She's completely hollow. And that's true of Katy Perry, who's plastic in and out, but Katy Perry has developed a persona, mostly revolving around being just tasteless enough. But I have no idea who Jesse J is supposed to be. An uplifting anti materialist hippie? Confessional songwriter chick a la Pink? Straightforward, silly love song singer? 
angry butch tomboy, who knows? Oh yeah, also it doesn't help that her songs are consistently awful. Again, thank you to all my British viewers for repeatedly sending me links to this one in particular. <laughs> Look, I just don't like her. She's not real, and she's not even enjoyably fake. She always seems to be pretending to be human. She reminds me most of the alien chick from Galaxy Quest. <sighs> well, anyway, that's our two main artists, Ariana Grande and Jesse J. Let's take a listen. Well, the beat's fine. Retro jazz thing seems to be working for Ariana, but let's hear the lyrics. Booty like a Cadillac, huh? You know what to do with that big fat butt. Yep. Well, anyway. Yes, I'm aware. So, the next... Please stop. Yeah. Yeah, Bang Bang is a good name for it, because this song, it's just noise. I'm not saying it's painful or obnoxious or anything, but there's literally only one chord. It's just bang and blam and percussion and the two girls getting their Christina Aguilera on. If I had to sum up the message of the song, it'd be, we are sexy. And by sexy, we mean loud. Very, very loud. Look, terrible double entendres aside, basically everything the song's gonna say was summed up in a different song from a British pop singer a couple years ago. Now that wasn't God's gift to pop music either, but I at least believed it. I at least believe that this person had had sex once in their life. I don't buy it from either of these people. Jessie J is just too phony, she's always kind of giving off this asexual vibe. And Ariana, oh boy, let's get to Ariana. You'll show me how to, have you graduated? From middle school? Look, Ariana Grande is singing about her sexual prowess. It's, it's just cute. Like, it's not even inappropriately jailed, baby. See, this is exactly what I was talking about when I was saying I didn't find her attractive. She's a very beautiful little girl. She's a sixth grader wearing her mom's makeup. I just don't buy it. Like, even the name of the song is kind of juvenile. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Now, you take the pop princesses back when I was a kid. You know, Britney, Christina, those videos boiled with sex, and thank God those songs came out when it was age appropriate for me to watch those videos over and over again like I did. I'd be a real perv now. Honestly, even back then some of those videos made me kind of uncomfortable, and I was their age. Oh, I'm lost on my bike, wanna come drag me into the woods? But, the, but those girls, whoever, you know, they were smart enough to sing about wanting sex, not being experienced love goddesses. I mean, that's something you gotta have a certain level of adultness to pull off, and neither of these two can do it. They don't sound like people to take seriously about sex because Ariana sounds like she's nine and I'm pretty sure Jesse J's species mates by laying eggs in their host digestive system. And yeah, there's not a lot else to this song. Although one of the more interesting things that come from it is a theory I've seen float around that this was written as a response to blurred lines. Everybody get up. Not the obvious response of, hey Robin Thicke, stop being sleazy and gross, but more along the lines of, hey, who needs a good girl when you could have a bad girl? I'm not sure if that's true, but there's a case for it. He even uses Blurred Line's most infamous lyric. Now, if that is true, then... Man, former teen actresses sure do want to impress Robin Thicke for some reason. Daddy issues, maybe? I don't know. But imagining they're singing to Robin Thicke doesn't make it any easier to listen to. Wait, show me what your mama gave? I, did I hear that right? That's not something you say to guys. I mean, Robin Thicke, 
got most of it from his dad. What did he get from his mom? Full womanly hips? What the hell are... Wait, are they singing to each other? I mean, the song does kind of have a, you know, strong women doing it for themselves kind of vibe, right? Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if dudes didn't enter the equation. Hot, I guess. Although, probably not likely, considering how hard Jessie J is pushing the message that she is totally straight right now. Yeah, I think this is just another example of not understanding adults and or earthlings enough to get how this sexual innuendo thing works. Honestly, I, matter of fact, I think they're supposed to be competing with each other. You need a good, gotta blow your mind. You need a bad, gotta blow your mind. Right, see, Jessie J saying you need a good girl, and Ariana Grande says you need a bad girl. Of course, it doesn't really work because they sound too similar. But more importantly, they cast this one as the good girl. And this one is your bad girl. I'm bad. Sometimes I make out with the lights on. And hey, whatever, there's a third woman on this track. Someone who sounds like she actually knows what she's talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicki Minaj. Okay, I do like this verse and... I gotta admit, I like Nikki the more I don't understand what she's saying. Like, her ferocity is her main asset, so the faster she goes, the better she is. Even though I literally have no idea what she just said. And her voice is pitched up so high, she sounds like MC Chris. The at most I can gather is that it begins with a plug for her wine. I've actually had her Moscato. It's like... Pure sugar and lightning, it's liquid pop rocks basically. Which, yeah, exactly what you'd expect. Kinda funny how the only woman on the track who's ever sounded like she's managed to get past second base does not seem to say a single thing about sex. I get the feeling she was told, hey, you're on Ariana Grande song, no talk about salad tossing please. It'll confuse her because she doesn't know what that means. Look, this isn't a bad song. I don't think I've actually ever heard a genuinely bad Ariana Grande song. It's certainly among Jesse J's better songs. And, and there's something to be said about the beat to this. It's got energy, but of all Ariana singles, this is the one where it's easiest to identify what isn't working. There's just too much disconnect between the lyrics and the people singing it. Honestly, it'd probably be better if they just took out all the sex stuff and instead just make it a song about making noise. Bang, bang! Yeah, there we go. I'm taught in the shadows and I'm out. Bang bang, he shot me down. Bang bang, I hit the ground. Bang bang.